Hi all, welcome back to another video. In this video, we will be discussing about the appraisal module which is provided by Odoo 16. For that, let me open the appraisal. So this is the appraisal module. Now once you open the appraisal module, you can see the dashboard. Now inside the dashboard, you can see all the created appraisals with the statuses. So here you can see Ronnie Hart uh, with the status ready. Here you can see done, cancelled and all. So this is the Kanban view. Now inside this dashboard, that is the appraisal dashboard, we have different uh, other views other than the Kanban view. So here uh, we are having the list view here, the Gantt view, the calendar view as well as the activities. So we'll talk about one by one. So first, here is the Kanban view. Now if you take a look at the left side of the screen, you can see company, department and status. That is you can filter it based on all these uh, Datas. So if you want to see all like the data belonging to all company, you can set all. If you want to see only my company, you can see that. Okay. And here you have the department. If you want to filter these appraisals based on the department, you can do that here. And also status wise filtering is possible. So only con confirmed ones can be seen here. Done ones can be seen here. Cancelled ones. Okay. So at a time you can apply multiple filters here. That is you can set company, my company and confirmed. So the ones which are confirmed under my company will come. Okay. And similarly, if you are putting as done and management. So if there is any appraisals which are done under the department management, you can see that. Okay. So here you can see uh, these comes under the research and development department. Okay, so similarly, you can put multiple filters at the same time. Now on the top, you have the group by, uh, group by favorites and filters. Now here you have the favorites menu, the group by where you can group by employee, status and appraisal date. So there you can set the appraisal date and then fill uh, group by based on that date. Okay, then you have the filters where you have the to do. So you can see the to do ones. Then you have the done ones. So here you can see two done has come. Then you have the my appraisal section. Okay. Then we have people I manage. These are the people which I manage. Then you have late as well as archived. Okay. And if you want to add custom filter, you can do that. Now, similarly, we can create an appraisal directly from this dashboard. So simply click on the create button on top and here comes the appraisal creation form. So here you can apply the name. So I'm giving the name as John Doe. Okay, so create him as a new employee. If you want to create him as a new employee, you can do that. We'll do one thing. We'll choose an existing person. So I'll choose Abigail Peterson and you have to set a manager for this Abigail. So I'm setting Michelle Edmund and the appraisal date should be given here. So I'm changing the appraisal date to okay and here you have the department under which this employee belongs to so she comes under professional services and the company okay so these are the main things uh, which comes under the appraisal now here you have the appraisal skills as well as private note tabs now under the appraisal you can see employees feedback manager feedback so before uh, talking about this appraisal form in detail, I'll show you how to set these employee feedback as well as the manager feedback. So I'm just discarding it. And here under the configuration, I'm going to settings. Okay, so inside the settings, you can see feedback templates. Okay, it is here where you set the uh, templates, which we saw right now inside the appraisal creation form. So here you can see the feedback template employee or uh, feedback template like you can add questions that is some sort of questions with which the employee is asking to the manager as well as the manager is asking to the employee so here you can see does my company recognize my value it's kind of a question right now, what are the elements that would have the best impact on my work performances similarly you have manager feedback template where you can set what are the responsibilities that the employee performs effectively so based on these questions you can evaluate that employee and then uh, grant the appraisal okay so that's how you set it now if you want to add any questions or make edits in the uh, existing questions you can do that okay so that's it and here you have the appraisal plans so that is if you want to uh, generate these appraisal plans automatically you can just enable it 
and here you can see six months after recruitment appraisal then after six months then every 12 months so what uh, like how do you want to generate these appraisals and all can be set here then you have the 360 feedback that is asked to fill a survey to other employees okay you can take a uh, feedback from other employees okay so those are the things which comes under the uh, configuration settings so i've done no edits so i'm not saving it let's go back to appraisals and create one abigail and the manager i'm setting to michelle edwin so the data set department company and all now here you can see the questions so this is currently not visible to manager only if you enable it you can see it the employees feedback will be published without their consent okay and do you really want to publish it this action will be logged in the chatter that is if you want to publish it such a confirmation message will come okay now if you uh, click ok this will be visible to manager you can just disable it if you want okay so this is kind of a self assessment that is employees assessing like you know um what to say he is evaluating himself by uh, based on these questions and here you have the managing manager feedback that that won't be visible to employee so if you want to make it visible to employee just enable it okay and you can see all the questions which he uses to evaluate the appraisal so that's how you make it visible to manager as well as visible to employee okay now after that you have the skills here okay so i'm enabling it now under the skills you can what add the skills and all so here you can see the skills tab will be active once the appraisal is confirmed so only you can uh, you know activate this by confirming the appraisal now here you have privacy note that is uh, only uh, accessible to people set as managers you can set private note here only the managers can see that then you have the employee goals and if there is any meeting and all you can do that so this is a uh, appraisal which has to be confirmed so i'm saving it going back so here you can see abigail peterson has come right open it and i'm confirming it so it's confirmed right now okay so if you want you can mark it as done so the skill tab is activated right now now here you can see the skill of this employee okay and if you want you can add skills and if you want to delete skills you can do that as well okay so this is the appraisal okay if you want to mark as done you can mark it as done from here if you want to cancel it you can do that here and also you can ask for feedback if you just go back abigail peterson okay so this is confirmed i'm clicking on mark as done so it's done right now okay just take a look so here you can see abigail peterson a ribbon has come which says done now if you go back um to abigail itself i'm reopening it so that done it has come back to the confirmed state from the done state if you want to cancel it just click on cancel and if you want to ask for feedback click on ask feedback okay so here you can see the feedback template so this feedback we've set it from the configuration settings so 360 feedback if you want to change the feedback and all you can uh, choose it from here and the recipients so to whom and all you are going to ask the feedback about this person so you can choose multiple employees i'm choosing anita jeffrey and all and also you can set the sub, uh, subject as take part in abigail peterson's appraisal and also optional message so you can add attachments as well as the answer deadline so th this is to just take feedba uh, feedback from other employees about this employee to whom we are going to confirm the appraisal now click on send this will be sent so here you can see the feedback survey the results you can see it here okay so that's it let's go back this is the appraisal let's take a look at the feedback survey so feedback so here you can see what's your name how many answer the question on and you can see that here relation between us certain questions okay so this is how the feedback form looks okay now let's go back to the appraisal back to appraisal
okay so that's how you ask feedback and just click on cancel to cancel it so here you can see it's cancel you can again reopen it if you want so here you can see this is cancelled Abigail Peterson okay similarly if you go under the list view here also you can create appraisal it's the very same process and under the Gantt view you can click on add and here also you can set the appraisal okay so if I just add Abigail the appraisal date is set okay just confirming it Okay, you have to set a manager. Saving and closing it. So here you can see Abigail Peterson's appraisal has come under the date which I specified. Okay, so here you can see the department to which she belongs to and also the date uh, I've set for the appraisal. Okay, now you have the calendar. Here also you can see the uh, you know appraisals which we set on different dates so here you can see Abigail Peterson which we created right now okay then we have the activity so by clicking on schedule activity you can simply schedule the activities for any of these employees so we will choose Abigail itself and here you can set the activity type I'm putting call and I'm saving it So that's how you schedule activity also then uh, let's go to the goals menu under the goals you can see the goals which are set okay so here you have responsible computer skills similar task transcripts confidentiality literacy transcripts typing okay deadlines and all now if you want to set a goal uh, for any uh, person you can set it so I'll set new goal or I'll simply set communication and here you can choose the employee to which you are assigning this I'm giving Abigail Peterson and here you can mark the progress so I'm putting the progress as 25 50 or you can simply give the name of any project okay so I'll give project 1 and here each time there is a progress you can come and mark the progress here and also you can add the description okay so if I simply save it you can see the goals okay so here is the project 1 you can see the uh, what percentage okay that is the progress percentage here okay and if it's completed what you have to do click on 100% or simply you can click on mark is done okay so currently it's in done state so that's how you set goals here also we have the list view and also the graphical view of the goals so here you can see different goals assigned to different employees and the progress so this is the line chart the pie chart okay then we have the reporting where you have the appraisal analysis so here you can see a Gantt view of the appraisal analysis you can see the department here and the date here okay so if you just remove the filter you can see the data here so here under each date and each department you can see the uh, appraisals which are set now here you have the calendar view okay so here is the appraisal analysis on each day how much appraisals are scheduled and the graph of employees and the date and all and here you have the pivot view that is the table here you have the employees as well as the uh, total that is the count okay so let's go back to graph this is the line chart and this is the pie chart now here also you have filter group by favorites and all under filter you have to start appraisal sent done and all and also group by you have employee department status and all now it's set by chart sorry bar chart and here you have the measures to uh, view in the graph so I've chosen count there okay so that's the appraisal analysis then you have the skills evolution so it's an analysis based on the skills okay so it's a list view you can see the employees here mark demo you expand it you can see uh, to 
developers which is having the skill javascript and sql you can see the skill level when one, one is a expert one is advanced the skill progress uh, the skill current skill level current skill progress justification and all now similarly you have language marketing music and all so under each section or under each skill you can see the level the progress and the current level and all okay so that's the um, appraisal skill report which is the skill evolution then you have evaluation scale so under the evaluation scale you can see needs improvement meets expectation exceeds expectation strongly exceed ex expectation similarly you can add anything so i'll put good so this is a new evaluation scale so based on these scales you can evaluate the uh, employees then you have the surveys so here you have 360 feedback as well as the employee appraisal form now if you want to create a new one click on create give the name i'm giving it as satisfaction survey the responsible you can add the question here so any question what is your name okay so in the line text box event similarly you can add multiple questions here okay then you have the options that is the pagination and all this is uh the thing which comes under the survey right well we have created the interview form and all the same thing is uh taking place here then you have the description as well as the end message now under options you can set the participant section questions diamond scoring and also the live session codes and all okay so here i'm saving it now once you save it you can just share it create live session test print close and all so let's take a look at the survey so here you can see the satisfaction survey which i created right now count of question the average duration registered complete count can be seen here and here you have the share test see results and also start live session so all these things can be viewed inside uh, the surveys you have the list view of service and also you can see the activities schedule corresponding to each service okay so under the appraisal you have these much options and here you can see let's do one thing go back and open abigail so here you can see two appraisals are there for abigail one is to confirm and one is cancelled going back now here you can set the employee goals so under project one it's done if i set back the progress to 50 and save it so here you can see the goals assigned to abigail so you can see one employee goal if you open it you can see what the goal is and also what is the progress percentage okay so these are the main things which comes under the appraisal module of the uh, odoo 16 so that's all for today thank you so much for watching